Hey, this is Nick Withrow, Ship 4019's Bozen, and I'm going to be running down through the different parts of Sunfish sailboats. Follow me. So this is our newer model of Sunfish, and I guess these are the parts. So this whole thing covering the entire top surface is our hull. Uh, this right here is the comber. That thing that just almost hit our cameraman in the head is the boom. Uh, it's just connected to the yard up here, this pole. This is the sail. Right here is the handle. Right there we've got a fair lead. We've What's the comb again? Comer is right here. Okay. Alright, again that's our cleat. This right here is our halyard, it's what hoists our sail up. I already mentioned this is the sheet. We've got another fair lead going through a cleat here. Uh, this is our dagger board, which gets inserted into this hole that way. Yeah, and then what it's sitting in right there is our cockpit, which is what we sit in. That's the boom again. Uh, this right here is our traveler, and it can let the sheet go back and forth freely on the end. This is our tiller, it controls our rudder, and this is our rudder. Uh, normally, we would be able to just tug on the, t the tiller this way, and it would pull up the rudder, uh, but it needs a little bit of lubrication. So there's some differences with older boats like this one. Uh, firstly, on this specific model, we've got a block right here instead of a fair lead holding onto the halyard. Something I also forgot to mention on the last boat is this part right here, which is a gooseneck connecting the boom to the mast. Uh, very important there. Right here, our dagger board is different. Still the same general shape, although on this one, it's got a little metal piece there to hold it in place when it gets inserted into its hole, I guess. Uh, around here, this is not a traveler because it doesn't travel, but it essentially serves the basic same purpose. Now this right here, our tiller again, connecting to our rudder. What's interesting about this is on an older model, you can't, no matter how hard you pull on the tiller, the rudder will not come up and you can't force the rudder up because it's stuck there just like that. Something I like about this boat is right here, as an aftermarket purchase, we added on a little drain plug right there uh, to make it more convenient. Another thing I forgot to mention on the other boat is that there is a drain plug just on the side. On that boat, it would be right around here. Uh, but this boat, we've added one in the back for easier and more convenient draining. Like it was before and then put the tarp back on it. Right. I mean, no tarp on it, just flip it. Like we should have wooden blocks there yeah, for where it is.